Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adil Badukhar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sama inaugurated the second edition of the Shillong Literary Festival as part of the Shillong Cherry Blossom Festival 2022 at Watts Lake here on Monday. Speaking on the occasion, the CM said Watts Lake, coloured in cherry blossom pink this year, will add to the beautiful discussions that will take place at the Literary Festival. Meghalaya and its romantic beauty will surely mesmerise the poets, authors and artists from across the country who will be sharing the stage in a three-day Shillong Cherry Blossom Literary Festival. I hope the beauty of Shillong and its people will inspire them in their art, he said. Looking forward to many inspiring stories in the days to come, he added. Present on the occasion were Padma Shri Awadi, Professor Badab Lenwar, noted filmmaker and author Sanjoy Hazarika, officials of Meghalaya Tourism and students. Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma on Monday inaugurated the International Interdisciplinary Seminar on Looks Out Policy vis-à-vis Meghalaya at Sinod College, Shillong. In his inaugural address, the Chief Minister said the Look South policy is most important for Meghalaya and the country and added that if Act East policy has to be really put in letter and spirit, then it cannot be an Act East generic policy. It has to be within the North East, a very regional-based Act East policy, he said. He added that every state in the North East has a relative Act direction policy. There are basic Basically, three zones for economic activity in the northeast, which have their own challenges and requirements and opportunities, he said. He further added that there is a huge scope in agriculture by developing a good value chain system and creating an economic interdependence. He also added that needs to be exchange programs between students and entrepreneurs of Bangladesh and India. It is very important to take entrepreneurs on board as they are the ones who will make things happen. A 45-year-old mother of two has proved that age is just a number by cycling solo about 4,000 kilometers from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh in about 14 days. Pune-based Preeti Maski began her ride from Koteshwar Temple in the western border with Pakistan on November 1 and cycled her way through Gujarat, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh. Expedition's chief crew, Gansham Raghuvanshi, told PTI on Monday. Maski completed her 3,995 kilometers ride in 13 days, 19 hours and 12 minutes to reach Kibitu near the border with China in Arunachal Pradesh at midnight of November 14, he said. Her feet made her the first woman solo cyclist to ride across the country from west to east in just 14 days. Maske had taken up cycling five years ago to combat illness and depression. The paperwork, evidence, timestamp pictures have been submitted and accepted by the World Ultra Cycling Association and the Guinness World Records. In a shocking incident, a man was shot dead in broad daylight and rupees 2.5 lakh reportedly looted from his possession in the Punjabari area of Guwahati. Ranjit Bora, a distributor for the Purabi Dairy, located in the same area, was shot point-blank in the head by an unidentified assailant around 11 a.m. The murderer, along with an accomplice, sped away on a Hero Honda Glamour two-wheeler, eyewitnesses said. According to locals, the perpetrator sped away in the direction of the Srimanta Sankardeva Kalashetra. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Meet everyone.